Hello everyone, Cizenea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to draw the tree scallion in Affinity Designer. A few months ago I already recorded a tutorial on how to draw the tree scallion, but since it is an important symbol I decided to record another tutorial covering another variation of it with a double spiral. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions and click on Create. And then we go to View Guides and we add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that Snapping and Snap to Guides is enabled. And then we're going to draw the first spiral. So we take the Spiral tool. We set the fill to None. We leave the stroke as black. And we set the stroke width to 5 points. And then while holding Shift to preserve the 1 to 1 proportion, we go ahead and we draw a spiral. And we'll give it around 750 pixels in dimensions. And then we select the spiral. Here at Style, we set it as Counter Semicircular. So this is the double spiral that we need for this figure. And here at the orientation, we set it to Counterclockwise. And lastly, here at Turn, we are going to set it to 3. Alright, so now we have our first spiral. So we rotate it a bit and we center it on the vertical axis like this. And then we're going to use this spiral to create the other spirals. So the next step is we go to Layer, Create Symbol. So the spiral is now converted into a symbol. What that means is after that we have duplicated it. Every change that we make to one spiral will be automatically applied to the other spirals. Alright, so now we are going to duplicate it, so we go here to Enable Transform Origin. And we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate. We set the numbers of copy to 2. And we set the rotation angle to 120 degrees. So now we have our three spirals that we need to complete the figure. And then we uncollapse the first symbol that we created and we select the spiral. And as you can see, everything that we do to one spiral will automatically also affect the other spirals. This is the advantage of working with symbols. And then we need to position them so that there is a smooth transition from one spiral to the other. So we rotate it in this direction. until we have a rotation angle of about 54, 55. And then we bring the spirals closer to each other. So we need here to be a smooth transition from one spiral to the other. And lastly, we need to remove this part here, this part of the spiral that is right after the transition from one spiral to the other. So the way that we are going to do this, we go to Layer, Convert to Curves, so what that means is that the spiral is now converted into curves and we can make adjustment to it with the node tool. So then we go ahead and we add the node right here where there is the transition of one spiral to the other. And then we go here to break curve. So now the spiral is now broken at the point where we just added the node. And then we can select this part that is right after the transition point and we can delete it. And then we can take the Move tool again and can connect one spiral to the other so that the transition between one spiral to the other is smoother. And lastly, we can select all the spirals by pressing Ctrl A. We can rotate them a bit so that they sit horizontally and we can center it in the middle of the composition. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a tree scallion with a double spiral with the use of symbols. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!